G'day ladies and gentlemen, the Buttsman here, and I've got an absolute cracker of an opening. You will not believe what is inside this here box. And it comes from the great man from Cards by Brammers. Brammers has hooked us up with one of the biggest openings this channel has ever seen. We have 144 booster packs in here. I think that's like, what, there's 36 in every single bloody uh, booster box. So that's, what's that? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, almost 5 booster boxes. And that means that the thumbnail is going to be like... I open up five huge booster boxes because we round up when it comes to thumbnails and not to mention we are chasing one card and one card in particular and that is the Rainbow Rare Pikachu, the, oh, this fucking thing, this little rat. I've been looking for him bloody head every, every bloody where, let me tell you. And, and I'll tell you something else. Last time I made a video about Vivid Voltage and the Rainbow Rare Pikachu, I got some hate in the comments section when Brammer shared it. People were saying that this Pikachu is not worth $2,000, but I have proof that this card right now in a PSA 10 is selling for over $2,000 Australian. And can I also just say this, that people saying, oh, well, not every card's a PSA. Hey, we're hunting the PSA 10s. That's what we do on this channel. We don't fuck around with PSA 9s. You can suck me off. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, what we are doing today is we're hunting for a perfect Pikachu Rainbow Rare from 144 booster packs. And five booster boxes in here, right in fucking here. And ladies and gentlemen, this video is brought to you by the great, the greatest sponsor known to man, the great man, Cards by Brammers. Head over to Cards by Brammers right now for all your Pokemon needs. You can become a part of the live openings or you can have sealed products delivered to your door. They are the most professional, the biggest range, the best when it comes to Pokemon in Australia and the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Go and check out Cards by Brammers, and if you use the code MOIST, you'll get 5% off your purchase. The best prices in the entire country. Anyway, now, I've already opened this up. And I did that because I'm using one hand here, alright? Are you ready for this? Check this out. This absolute B. Oh my god. I sent this to Lachlan Fairbarn from Fairbarn Films, and he said, Oh my god, I just jizzed in my pants. Ladies and gentlemen, we have all of these here. Let's get some of these bastards out. I need to put this fucking thing down. Can you even see me over the top of that? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. My god. I tell you what, as for the environment, it's fucked from me, just from opening these bastards. I don't know how we're going to get into these, but just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with, this is what we have. We have 144 of these bastards right here. All the different art sets, I'll have to zoom out just a touch, just so you can see what we're dealing with. There's Zerud there, just hanging out. We've got all the different art sets, the All Beetle, and that's the guy we're hunting for, the Pikachu. I've broken the sweat. I've opened them up. Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, straight off the bat, we want big pulls in this opening. And my hand is rather wet from um, opening up those little rascals of a beer. Oi, Snorlax. I guess that's all right. As I burp into the camera. Great start, Buttsman. Great start. All right, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's rip into it. We've got to open these dogs up, and we've got to get it done for the boys. For the boys, ladies and gentlemen, for the boys. All right. Whalemere, Weedle, Beldum, Fanfi, Dooskull, Pikachu VMAX, ladies and gentlemen. That's a great pull. Holy shit. Second pack magic. There's the bell. I couldn't find it. That's a great pull to start us off. Dicks are going to hear me downstairs. It's not the Rainbow Rare, but it's a good start. <laughs> it's a great start, though. Don't get me wrong. Let's leave that right up. Holy dooly. I've been having these sitting here. Cards by Brammers gave these to me yesterday. I just cannot um, sit in the house with Pokemon cards that haven't been opened yet. That is... Oh, it's a bit top-heavy. And look at the wear up the top. Oh my god, why? Why, oh why? That's, um... I'll still send it off because it's a good card and I might be able to 
um, give it to one of you guys when it comes back from PSA. But you know what? That's a great, that's a good start. That's a good start. I still feel like we can pull the Rainbow Rare Pikachu, though. I don't think that's going to be the best card that we pull all, all day. I really, really don't. But we will see. We will see how we go. We have, what was it? Five, nearly five booster packs. And I realized whilst I was opening um, the uh, the booster box, the booster packs from their little cardboard uh, coffin that I was absolutely full of shit. The Zapdos Hollow. I love that Hollow. I'm going to sleeve that. Even though it's not an overly expensive card, it's just a cool looking holographic card. I realized as I was opening that 144. Now, I'm no maths genius, but it would make sense that that's four booster boxes. Right? 3, 6, 9, 12, plus 6. Fuck, it's all happening. Need a calculator. But it doesn't matter, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comments how long it's been since you've been in a math class at Amphros V. That's another good pull, ladies and gentlemen. That's another good pull. It's been a while since I've been in the old classroom. Uh, so, yeah, my math ain't great, bruz. But um, I was in math too whilst I was at school, so... You know, I should know what 144 divided by 36 is, and my guess is it's 4. And actually, I'm completely full of shit when it comes to this opening and explode. So these, um, these packs are about, what, $7 each? So we're looking at a pretty expensive opening here. You should, uh, you should, oh, a little Charmeleon hanging at the back there. You should subscribe, because we don't fuck around here. But I tell you what, if I was going to spend my hard-earned cash on absolutely anything, it would be with Cards by Brammers and using that code MOIST because he has the absolute best range of Pokemon cards this side of the Mississippi, let me tell you that. I'm still trying to talk to him into having that as his catch cry, but we shall see how we go. A Genesect Hollow is the rare there, ladies and gentlemen. I went out to his um, office, his... Oh, the Charmeleon again. I went out to his office and his uh, area there where he keeps his uh, stockpile. And I tell you what, man, he has just got the best range that I've ever seen. It is ridiculous. Uh, like, there's just pallets and pallets and pallets. And there's guys working there. Like, the, the love of the Pokemons is just absolutely unbelievable, particularly at the moment. And he's just about to have a baby as well, so I'm absolutely stoked for him to have so much success happening in his business. Uh, a good guy, friend of the channel, and just an all-around great guy. If you haven't watched his live streams, I highly suggest you go and uh, follow Cards by Brammers on Facebook. He's going to start doing them on uh, YouTube as well. To Cocoon. Um, but at the moment, they're just on Facebook Live. And I tell you what, it's entertaining. Everyone's There's good banter in the comments section. But, uh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not giving anyone any any new uh, information here. You all know I love the Bram Dog. So, ladies and gentlemen, a Reverse Hollow Lucario. That's a cool looking card, and of course a Galarian Berserker, which apparently looks like me. Not bad at all. We are in to the rest of our box now. Now we are also looking for amazing rares. We are looking for Charizards. That would be exciting. Uh, we want to get some good grades here to send off to PSA with our boys at Welcome Stranger Collectibles. Um, the best third party guys to use for PSA. Takes the hassle out of it. So go and check out those guys. That's who Brammers and I both use in the Pokemon community. So if you're looking for someone to use, they're the guys. And a Duskinor is the hollow. I still have uh, a lot of bulk here. If anyone wants that bulk, you let me know, um, and I'll flick it out to you. It's um, it's sort of hey, get out of it. It's sort of uh, just sort of sitting here at the moment, uh, collecting dust. So I don't want to really throw it out. I know that ooh, a lot of people actually rather enjoy it. Um, and and as I said in a previous video, I hit up a. Actually, if you know anyone, a charity or something that would actually really, you know, benefit from it, maybe a preschool with some kids or a primary school or who knows, something, a grap lock and a lichen rock. Someone who really gets something out of actually having those cards there, let me know and I'll uh, send it their way. Send me an email or um, check out my uh, Instagram and send me a message on there. Oh, I'm fucking up here. Pichiana and a Togekiss VMAX. Not bad. I'll sleeve that up. Uh, 
Not a crazy pull, but a VMAX card is always nice to get, ladies and gentlemen. Now, maybe you haven't opened uh, Vivid Voltage before, and you're going, oh, Butterfield, you're throwing these cards everywhere. Well, as I said, this is my... Uh, okay, so we've got 144 going here today. How many cards have I opened up? I think it's probably at the end of this... Hey, ladies and gentlemen, a Charizard Reverse Hollow and a Muzdale. That Charizard Reverse Hollow is a great pull, and I'm very, very excited about that. Well done, me. Throw that in one of the little card savers here. Um, that is a great pull. I love pulling that Charizard. It is looking in pretty good nick as well, I dare say. And I'm pretty pleased about that. Love pulling the Charizard in any set, really. Particularly the Reverse Hollow in this is a great pull. And that is looking like it should be. A little bit of damage at the top. Maybe a 9 then. But still, a good pull nonetheless. Oh my god, i got fucking shit everywhere. Have a go with that. That's, uh, that's a bit how you're doing. Anyway... It is what it is, as the Butts Bun takes a swig of beer. Mm. Beautiful stuff. Let's go back here and jump into this, baby. Now, what else is happening in the world of the Butts? We just announced that I'm coming down for the Melbourne Comedy Festival, doing it three dates, oh, sorry, three shows, sorry, not three shows, fuck am I talking, six shows down there in April. The reason I'm freaking out is because there's something in here. After this skiddo. Hey, a Talon Fame V. Not what I wanted, but still a good little pull. Everyone loves a full art. So yes, I'm heading down for six shows in April and it's gonna be fantastic. Finally getting back to doing stand-up. Uh, you know, the reason I started YouTube was to develop an audience and uh, to do my stand-ups uh, too. So that's very exciting to be actually able to go back and do stand-up. Uh, obviously, after last year, there was a bit of a kerfuffle around bat eating and etc. So uh, it's nice to actually get back on the horse and do some stand-up. Um, I've thoroughly missed it and I've missed uh, seeing everyone and all that type of business. Um, it has been way too long. Uh in between drinks, if you will. Right. So to clean some of that shit up, there's absolutely cards everywhere, as I'm sure you can imagine. But the recycling bin went the other day. So I should be fine, ladies and gentlemen, as a tallow. A Charmander, beautiful little Charmander there. Galarian Meowth. Charmander Reverse Hollow. And a Muzdale. We've already pulled a Pikachu VMAX. We've already pulled a Charizard Reverse Hollow. All amazing pulls, but all pulls that we've already seen on the channel, so we need something big. And that's not it with the Shaman. That's not what we were after. But ladies and gentlemen, I have a strong suspicion that somewhere in this box is exactly what we are looking for. The Pikachu Rainbow rare and it's not in this one because that is a shit card code so let's just scoop through it but we could get a charizard in there but we didn't isn't that hilarious that whole pack just gets thrown away it's it's just crazy but this is what this hobby is it's all about luck it's all about being in the game and it's all about fucking we're back to luck i think um as as i said the other week i pulled there was a double bubble there brammers would love that the old bamboozle rather um Finish your drink, you absolute cock smokers. Uh, I was in uh, Zing the other day trying to pick up some uh, Vivid Voltage cards and I was lucky enough to pick some up and the lady said to me after I had purchased the cards that, oh, there was a kid in the other day, he pulled one of those Pikachus, the rainbow Pikachus. Oh, I was like, oh, from this booster box that you're selling them from? She was like, yeah. I was like, oh, thanks for telling me now, you fucking hot bit of gear. The Heroes Metal the Reverse Hollow there. Yeah, so basically, the reason I'm blowing up about that is the likelihood of two Rainbow Rare Pikachus in the same booster box are fucking zero. So um, I was blowing up because I already knew that it was a waste of a hundred bucks. But it is what it is, ladies and gents. And what can you do? So, on top of the shows from Melbourne, I am also... Got a new merch drop coming up at the end of February, so make sure you check that out. All the information will be on my main channel. 
Um, and I'm looking forward to doing that because it's going to be an absolute cracker of a merch drop. One of the biggest we've done so far ever in the entire history of the old butts. So, um, yeah, looking forward to that. And they are getting bigger and more people are being involved in every single merch drop. And I'm just thoroughly enjoying it. It's just such a great time uh, for me. Uh, per oh, look at that reverse Flareon. Uh, I'm going to sleeve that up because that's a cool looking card. Um, it's just such a cool thing for me to experience and particularly running into people uh, when you're out and about and they're wearing your merch. It's just, it's a real weird thing. It's a really weird thing. but I, And not in a bad way, but just a weird thing to see someone wearing something that, you know, you conceived in your mind and uh, they're wearing it on, on their on their body and they've, you know, they've spent their hard-earned cash uh, buying it and uh, and supporting me and supporting the channel. channel, channel and... Um, yeah, I just get all about it. I get all emotional. I run up to them. I say, come here, big fella or big lady or little lady or middle lady or little man or whoever you are. Hugs all around. From the old butts. Charmander. Whooper. Galarian Meowth. Apparently looks like me. And a Jolteon. I do like getting the evolutions or the evolutions, but uh, I do have all of those already. There's a code card. C. Dot, Letri, Clefairy, Fanfi. Clobopus and a Magurna. Magurna. Magurni. Magurna. And a couple of people are still blowing up about the way that I enunciate these Pokemon. Listen, motherfucker. I will call them what I want. I will say Pikachu V. I haven't pulled that. That's a massive pull. Ladies and gentlemen, I have not pulled that on this channel. That is one of the cards that I was chasing. Holy shit balls. Butterfield, collect yourself. You need to get that in a sleeve immediately. That is the final. I'm just spitting at the same time. So spit in the air before I put a sleeve on this. That is... Other than the Pikachu VMAX, that is the second Pikachu that I was... Oh, and look at that. What the fuck? So much damage to that. That's so upsetting. You know, it, it's in a PSA 10. This is what it's worth, but... A PSA 9, probably not terrible. It might be an 8, but it's still a cool card, and I still need it. Uh, in the collection. And, and and one of the things that is really important about this is, and probably why I'll send it off to PSA even though I'm confident it won't get a 10. Like, it just won't. Like, look at that. Is I just want it... I just want it in the collection and I want it safe. I want it protected. Now, that is a great artwork. Charge, Thunderbolt. <sighs> what a great pull. What a great pull. Unfortunately, pack fresh... Damage to that. Damage to the bottom. Damage everywhere. Fuck <laughs> me dead. But we'll still send the dog off. Hopefully we can get another one with a bit more... Um, I mean, in, in, in a perfect world, you'd have another one to send off to PSA and that would be a, a binder card. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. You never know. Or maybe I'll just send it off to Pokemon and get a refund on it because that's just absolutely outrageous. When you buy anything else in any other part of the world, you you know you can get a refund uh, on basically anything, uh, as long as you know you've bought it and you go, hang on, mate, here's the receipt. Um, what the fuck? This is not what I paid for. It's damaged, and they go, no worries. So really, Pokemon, pull your head in because that is an outrage. We've had no amazing rares just yet. We've pulled fucking all the Pikachu's except for the one I want. Um, Let's open it like this, eh? Do 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 ladies and gentlemen! That's a big pull! Beautiful! And there's that code card. Let me just have a look at that code card. There you go. So you can get, on the green code cards, you can get amazing rares. Beautiful Zamazente. And it looks not terrible. That's good. At least one of the cards. I love this. I'm putting it in the thing out. I love this card. Such a great looking dog. Oh, beautiful, amazing rare. Absolutely adore it. Um, and I tell you what, if we don't pull the Pikachu, I'll be on to Brammers. I'll say, mate, bring every vivid voltage pack you have in that entire warehouse. All five million of them. Get them over here. Because we've got to pull it. Otherwise, I'm going to delete the channel. 
Maybe that's what I need to do. Unless I pull the Rainbow Rare Pikachu, I'm going to delete this channel. Alright? That's a threat. That is a threat. And maybe you're a Pokemon person and you love or you hate me rather, and you want to see this channel disappear, well if you want to see it disappear, send me a Rainbow Rare Pikachu, and then I will fuck right off. I can retire happy, well until Shining Fates comes out. Anyway, you get that on the big jobs, ladies and gentlemen, Pineco Riolu, Colossal VMAX, not a bad pull either, but still not what we want in this set, but that is a cool full art right there, we'll sleeve her up. That'll be going in the binder as well. We need to pull something special. We need to pull something amazing. To make this video just fucking not bad at all. Hey, there we go. Finish your drink. And a toucan. Toucanoo. Toucan. If I can't do it, toucan do it. Sometimes these packs are hard to open and then the other side is just perfect. Ready to snap right off. Snap one off with me, ladies and gentlemen. Snap it right... <laughs> Fucking what are you talking about, butts, man? Clubberpuss, Whimsicott! Ladies and gentlemen, an Orangu! That is the third Oranguru we have pulled on this channel. Wow, a wonderful gold card. Now, this is just... I tell you what. The pulls we've had in this video have been unbelievable. That looks great. The back looks great. That's a PSA 10. Don't even worry about it. I'm not even going to set it off. I'm going to grade it myself. That is a wonderful pull. Well done to everybody involved, particularly me, but also cards by Brammers. He has hooked me up with the best pack of um, sealed vivid voltage that I've ever seen. That is fucking not bad. Well done, ladies and gents. Let me tell you that. We've got a few to go in this uh, booster pack, but don't, booster box, but don't worry, we've got all of those right there. I'm confident we're gonna pull the Rainbow Rare Pikachu, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to happen, and I'm gonna open packs until it is pulled. I was watching Brammers today, Cards by Brammers, and that's who's sponsoring this video, but I watch him not just because he sponsors the video and he's a friend of the channel, but because I genuinely enjoy the content that he creates on Facebook Live. Oh, oh, fuck you, I thought you were a Charizard. Um, I was watching him and he pulled, I think, um, had a massive opening today when I was when I was creating this video for you. Uh, but he pulled the Rainbow Rare Pikachu and it was just, it was, everyone was thumbs and ups and, and everyone was pumped up and it was just a really cool experience for the community there. I think there's something in here too. I may be completely wrong and I am. A Lugia, that's a cool card. Wow, Lugia. I'll put that up there in the safety deposit area. Because that is... Everyone loves Lugia. Lugia is up there, obviously, with the Charizards of the world. Not quite there, but, you know, if you pull it, you go, fuck, not bad. That was not bad, not bad at all. Fuck off. All right. Oh, God. There's something in here. Ladies and gentlemen, get that bell ready. This has to be the Pikachu. It has to be the Pikachu. It's not. It's an Aggie slash V. Um... Uh, <laughs> Still, all right, well done, not bad. We're getting some good full arts. We're getting some good full arts, but you know, I'm not even gonna put it on the, the price of the PSA 10s unless it's a really good pull. Uh, why, I don't know, but I'm just not. Vaporeon is the non-holo rare in there. Get open, you dog. There we go. Now, I'm not sure of the, fuck that, look at that. Look at that, look at that code card, just bent to shit. So, you know, there's not gonna be anything in there, but there could be an amazing rare. Xerneas, Shiftry, nothing. Um, that's weird when something comes up and it is so bent, so absolutely cooked, if you will, uh, and it is packed fresh, and you're just like, come on, get it right. And then you look at the, uh, other countries, particularly, well, mainly Japan. The Japanese cards are always almost perfect. Uh, and it is very rare when it comes to that particular country's um, Pokemon cards that they come out not perfect. And I think uh, the English providers of Pokemon or the ones who create 
um, or print them here need to bloody have a good eye look at themselves because that's just absolute garbage if you ask me. Choodles, Riulu, Chimchu, Nechada, Voltorb, Puchiana, and a Drapion V. I don't think I have pulled a Drapion V on this channel. Beautiful. That'll go straight to the pool room. Let me tell you that right now. Good stuff. All right. We are over halfway. We're doing not bad. I will not give you an update until the end because I, we haven't done we haven't done here we haven't come here to fucking fuck spiders. We've come here to pull the amazing rare rainbow rare Pikachu and not a Flareon. But if it was that, then we'd be very pleased. Okay, we'll swap this one over. We're over halfway. Still no rainbow rares, but we have pulled. Some pretty good pulls. We've pulled a gold card. We've pulled an amazing rare. We've pulled, what else have we got? We've got a V, Pikachu V, which is exciting. All with a lot of damage to them already, which is shameful, upsetting, and annoying. <sighs> Sir Galarian Farfetch'd. But still, good pull. Good pull, Buttsman. Well done. You're doing very well, my friend. So yeah, I don't know what the pull rates are like when they come in these packs, but you would hope they're a little bit higher. Or maybe they're not. Who fucking knows? That's what I've got to say. And I'm certainly not the aficionado when it comes to any of this shit, so I don't know what I'm talking about. It is absolutely coming out of my ass. But if you want your chance to pull this card, then head straight to Cards by Brammers right now. Oi, Zarud V! That is a great card. I love that. I absolutely love that. Looks fantastic. Looks exciting, looks wonderful, and we'll probably get that off to PSA because that's a great looking card. Although it is quite damaged, so that's probably a binder card. But a cool card nonetheless, ladies and gents. Let's keep going. We're not here to fuck spiders. We are here to pull the amazing rare Pikachu, and that's the only reason that I exist anymore on this earth is to pull that card. And once I've done that, I can retire happy, delete the channel, and get on with my life, a Vaporeon. Tell you what, you gotta feel sorry for me, ladies and gentlemen. The cleanup after these videos is outrageous. It's worse than filming porn, I imagine. All right, there's just cardboard. There's cardboard after cardboard. A fan fee and a bee drill is the rare, a non holographic rare. It's all happening. Bram has mentioned that it might be a good idea to actually do one of these on a live uh, YouTube video, and I think I might do that because that's very exciting. Ah. Uh... All Beetle VMAX. Not a bad pull at all. I mean, I knew that wasn't the Pikachu, but it's just like, come on. Just come on. I saw um, Jackson Fairbarn of Fairbarn Films. Uh, he's pretty balls deep into the old Pokemon at the moment. And he's chasing that Rainbow Rare Pikachu as well. And he's calling out people on Instagram saying, hook me up and get it to me. Anything you can do, find it for me, the Electrode. Um... He needs it in his life, and I understand where he's coming from. It's it's like that at the moment. It's just like, come on, give it to me. Something. Blitzel, Slugma, Beldum, Menseri, Whimsme, Colossal VMAX again. Okay, so that's our second Colossal VMAX that we've pulled in this opening. Now, one would assume that the pull rates are quite random then, because... I think the, the Pikachu is like 1 in 250 or maybe even more packs anyway. But to pull two of the same VMAX cards, I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm full of shit, maybe I just don't know. But when they put all these packs in together, you would think that they wouldn't try and put the exact same VMAX cards in there. Or maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And that's probably closer to the truth, to be honest, ladies and gents. To be brutally honest, who knows what I'm saying. Shuppet, Trubbish, Shootle, Riulu, Dusknor... And a Sarawat, Snurawat, Snurawut, Snurawut. We're down to the final 11 packs, ladies and gents. That's an absolute guess. I don't really know. Tynamo, Charmeleon, Reverse Holo. And that was it. The Alcremie was the rare. Didn't give you the code card, but I guess who cares? It's all over. It's all over for that code card. It's lost to the ages. Sandal, Walamir, Weedle, Beldum, Fanfi, Drone. I tell you what, it's hard. 
when it gets to this point in the video, ladies and gentlemen, things, you know, they're just not flying like they were before. It's a long conversation with yourself, talking to a camera. Let me tell you, Weedle, Tallow, Sandile, Shashawat, Joltik, and a Diagla. Dialiga, Delugi, Diagugi. Right, we are nearly there. Nearly at the end of these two um, booster box. Fuck me, get open, you dog. Um, but... Frammers is coming. Don't you worry, all right? The, the man himself is heading around in the next couple of days, and we're going to finish off this box, and we're going to find that rainbow rare. Picker, picker. Oh! It's stuck to it, a red quasar, ladies and gentlemen. It's stuck to it. That's a big pull right there. The red quasar. It is... Centering's not great. Probably a nine, but still a great card to pull. Oh, it's, centering is terrible. But that's okay. Still a great card to pull. And I will put that in a card saver as well. Because you know what? Why not? When in Rome, send her off, ladies and gents. You never know. You might get lucky. Life's all about luck. As I say to the people of the world every day. When I wake up and I go on Instagram Live and I say, Listen here, dickheads. Life's all about luck, alright? You get, get lucky or fuck off. That's what I have to say to the people of the world. Alright. Nearly there. There's our second amazing rare of the video. Sandal, Oshawott, Pineco, Banate, and a Charizard, ladies and gentlemen. That's a good pull as well. A Charizard. You, you gotta love a Charizard. You can't get mad at the Zard. You gotta have a good Zard getting around in your life. You love a Zard. Everyone loves a Zard. You can't not be happy with that. Even if it isn't holographic. Why that isn't holographic in Viva Voltage, I do not know. I am not aware. Um, but... You know, you get that on the big jobs. Yanmir, Whoopa, Deneen, Pick a Pack, Chudel, Blitzel, and a Toucan, Nucan. I know um, Unlisted Leaf did an opening of about 6 million packets of this uh, particular set. <laughs> and uh, he did pull the amazing uh, fucking who knows what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, he did pull the Rainbow Rare Pikachu, but it did take him quite a few. But you would hope, considering that these uh, boxes you know, are for sale uh, to retail stores. You would hope that this does contain one of those, a Galarian to Manitan, VMAX. Not what we want, but it's not bad either. Fuck the, Jesus, the edge wear on these cards is just atrocious. What did you Pokemon people do at the bloody Pokemon packing plant? What did you do to them? Flinging them around like they're fucking boomerangs, you bastards. Did I see something? I don't know. I do not know. But there might be something in here. Voltorb, Weedle, Drillbur. It's after this. <sniffs> Talonflame. Boring. I'm over here, you big fucking eagle. Get out of my sight. Sick of it. But ladies and gentlemen, with our final five packs, remember, head to Cards by Brammers, Bramdog Millionaire, He's the man when it comes to Pokemon. 5% off. Use the code MOIST. Hey, a full art Leon trainer. That's a good pull. That's not bad at all. Let's have a look. Oh my god. How old is this? Holy shit. Did this... Oh my god. Was that fucking... Did they put that out with the first base set? How bad is the edge wear on that? That's fucking not good. That's not going to PSA. That'll get a fucking half a, th half a through it, which is 1.5. For those of you who think thought that I didn't uh, know me mathematics very well. You're wrong. All right, you bastards. Jesus. All right, four to go. Come on. Joltik. Sander. Seedit. Picky Picky. Mudbrake. Mm, Beldum and a Jolteon. A swoop out at the end. Not bad. Not good, is what I meant to say. All right, the final three. It's the final countdown. Tynamo, Milsery, Galarian Mouth, Chinchu, Swellow, and as a rude V. Another cool card. Not quite what we want, but I do love that Pokemon. It's a really, really cool card. All right, two to go. Fuck me. That is absolutely ridiculous. Out of seventy-two packs, that is an absolute rot. 
Pokemon. No. Last pack. Now, last pack magic. Come on. Rub it on the Zard up here. Let's get a rainbow rare Pikachu out of this. Surely. Surely out of 72 packs, two booster boxes. I'm going to have a look at the back of the code card. The code card is a white code card, which means there'll be a hollow or better in here. The final one. Like and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. Do it right now. Do it. Do it. <sighs> Matang. Lugia. Lady oh, not Charmaine Lena again. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the middle. Leaves me dick stinks. I will show you the pools we got from today um, as I get them all sorted. We got a few, a few amazing rares. We got a cool, good, a few good rather. Um, full art, the Rayquaza, the Orangaroo, the Zamazenta, the Pikachu V, the Charizard, and the Pikachu V Max. Some good pulls in there, but the hunt for the amazing. Fuck, why do I call it? Keep calling it amazing. The hunt for the rainbow rare Pikachu, as my beer is still cut to this Pokeball. Um, it continues. And we'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Me dick stinks. Go and check out Cards by Brammers. Code word boy, moist. It is in the description. Toodaloo. Bye.